New at 6, the Creek County Detention Center could soon have air conditioning once again. It's an issue we first told you about in July. Officials say sections of the jail do not have AC. Fox 23's Sharon Phillips found out what's finally happening to get the entire facility up and running and how long it will take. To fix the AC problems at the jail, they're going to have to build what's called a cooling tower. It's going to be similar to this one here at the courthouse, but theirs is going to be about 18 feet long. That's music to Tiny Overstreet's ears. She came up to the jail to visit her son and her cousin. I'm happy because they're going to fix it. They need to fix it. They are human beings just like we are, so they need it. Or just like we do. Tani says it's important that people follow the golden rule, especially in this case. You got to treat people like you want to be treated. And you know, I'm going to tell you like I tell everybody else, God see everything that's going on. And you got a day coming for what you do to other people. Monday evening, members of the trust over the jail facility voted and approved a bid to fix the geothermal unit and help bring some relief to the inmates and the jail staff at the Creek County Detention Center. It's a process that needs to be uh, addressed, and we've addressed it. It took a while because it's not something where we just call a company out. We had to get bids. Creek County Chief Deputy Fred Clark says they have been doing everything they can to keep things as comfortable as possible. We're using industrial fans. There's Still blowing. And the recent rain and low humidity has helped too. Right now, you know, the temperatures outside being cooler, it also helps cool the uh, inside down. So right now inside the building is probably in the seven, low 70s. It's expected to take about six weeks to get the cooling tower installed here at the jail, and they tell us the total cost is going to be around $50,000. Reporting in Creek County, covering news that matters, I'm Sharon Phillips, Fox 23 News. We are told that the highest the temps have gotten inside the jail lately is in the 80s.